Hey everyone, so in this video we are going to talk about insulin resistance and obesity. So if you watched my previous video, I talk about how insulin resistance can cause so many complications. But if you haven't watched the video already, I'll share the link in the description below. So in this video, I'm going to emphasize a lot more on how insulin resistance can lead to obesity. So when you consume high carbohydrates that triggers high blood sugar, leads to high levels of insulin, and causes insulin resistance. Insulin resistance can also cause high levels of insulin. So a normal cell responds to insulin and absorbs glucose, but in an insulin resistance condition, your cells resist insulin. They don't respond to insulin. So when the glucose does not enter your cell and the glucose remains in the blood, that leads to high blood sugar. And your insulin stores that excess sugar as fat. It basically converts that excess sugar into fat. So that leads to obesity and fatty liver. Fatty liver is basically the accumulation of fat in the liver. And when you have high levels of insulin, that can also cause high blood pressure. Since the glucose does not enter your cell, you, you, uh, you starve, you don't have energy, you feel hungry most of the time. That leads to overeating, craving for carbohydrates, all these are consequences of high blood sugar and insulin resistance. So you have to make sure that when you follow a low carbohydrate diet or intermittent fasting, when you exercise, you can actually control your insulin. So consuming high carbohydrates or refined sugar will generally spike your insulin. But in a, on a low carbohydrate diet, your need for insulin reduces which is very, very critical uh, to manage obesity and also insulin resistance. Hope this was informative. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below.